Hey again, thanks for joining us for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Well, it was a great game one of the Eastern Conference Finals. Now, game two, just about ready to tip off. Chris Weber is joining us at the broadcast table alongside Greg Anthony and David Aldridge on the sideline. This is Kevin Harlan. DA, it's all yours. Well, Ben Simmons was the top-rated player in high school and in college, but a fractured bone in his foot cost him his first NBA season. He said, a lot of people forgot about me. You have to build yourself up again. And for me, I wanted to prove myself again. Kevin, we all agree he's done just that. He sure has first NBA All-Star ever out of Australia. Thanks, David. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. The backcourt comprised of Bledsoe and Matthews. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. And it's Middleton in at the small forward position. And for the 76ers, Harrison and Bede together in the middle. Then there's Ben Simmons. Then it's Josh Richardson. And it's Thibel in at the shooting guard. Tip-off goes to Milwaukee. Giannis outside. Now the pass to Matthews. Takes it down to Middleton. Drops in the tray. Middleton's got the first three points tonight for the Bucks, And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Embiid, the pass to Thibault. A beautiful reverse layup. Good at recognizing when the defense is overcommitted. I mean, Embiid is terrific at sharing the ball. Middleton outside. It's out of Kumbo on the wing. Kumbo slams it in. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. Now here's Simmons. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. A nice shot by Harris. This is what the play's designed to do. Space the floor. Get Harrison look that he likes. Pass to Lopez. Loads it up for Giannis. Hammers the alley-oop through. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley-oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. And the foul on Eric Bledsoe. That is his first foul of the game. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Has to Thibel. Just five to shoot. The baseline J. Great D that time for Middleton. The Bucks have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Here's Yuck. And onto Takumbo slams it in. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the Tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Simmons dishes to Harris. Lopez with the block. You have to be careful around Lopez. He's solid at timing. He needs to the block shot. And there's the call on Joel Embiid. That's his first foul. Philadelphia on D. Trailing by five. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Giannis against Harris. Five on the clock. Here's Bledsoe. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Their first miss after a perfect four for four start. Still, I really like the game plan they've come out with. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Kicks it to Harris. Passes it to Thibel. Fires the three. The rebound by the Bucks. Onto Takumbo. Passes to Bledsoe. Here's Middleton. Guided by Simmons. Inside. 
Ryan Matthews with the basket on the assist by Middleton. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Richardson the pass to Embiid. Now here's Richardson. Over Middleton. Richardson, good. Well, the, the pick didn't exactly neutralize the defender, but, but good concentration on the finish to still get the basket. Now here's Bledsoe. Leading by five. Kumbo trying to break loose. Shots good by Bledsoe. And, and once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. And there's the foul. It goes on Wesley Matthews. That's his first foul. Outside, Simmons. Richardson outside. Shot clock at five. Back to Simmons. And B trying to break loose. Shots good by Simmons. Uh, the physicality of Simmons on display. So it's a fight of fearlessness for plays like this. Giannis drives in. Misses the hole and he's now three for four. A fantastic effort on D to get up in his face and deny the layup. And so the ball goes out of bounds. Lopez touched it last. Middleton against Richardson. Lock at six. From 13, that one goes. Count it. Richardson's got his second basket of the night. Oh, don't forget about this fella for a second. He is the definition. And the dunk by Giannis. Yeah, I mean, the ball handling and body control for a guy that's Giannis's height, it's really impressive. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And really, the, the ceiling for Anthony Kumpo is limitless. I mean, he has the potential to be a Hall of Famer one day. Yeah, just nice strength there and then just off with the shot. The 76ers shooting their first free throws of the evening. That's good from Harris. Yeah, he was a 19 pick in the 2011 NBA draft. I mean, Harris entered the league after a quality year as a Tennessee volunteer. And Harris drops them both. Oh, not many players with a more steady hand at the free throw line than this fellow. Ludzo passes to Kumbo. The pass to Middleton. To the inside. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. The Bucs have started out 0 of 1 from the line, missing their only other attempt early. Good. Got it. 
the 76ers trail by six. Thibault, the pass to Embiid. Here's Thibault. Back to Embiid. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. What amazing strength. Look, I love how Embiid fights his way through whatever the defense throws his way. Bledsoe outside. Pass to Giannis. Lead away. And Simmons with the rebound. Oh, you hate to let those easy chances slip through the fingers. Here's Harris. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. The right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. Oh, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. For Milwaukee, they have converted one or two free throws so far today. Makes the first. The 76ers making a switch here. Cork Mize is checked in. That one misses, so he goes one for two. The 76ers trail by five. Here's Simmons, and he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And Milwaukee gets called for the foul. But what about the speed and the muscle Simmons has? I mean, it makes defenders nervous, if you ask me. Such a difficult matchup. This is his first trip to the line tonight. That's good from Simmons. I mean, what you can appreciate about Simmons is his all-around game. I mean, he can score, he can pass, I mean, he can rebound, but he does it all at an efficient rate. And Philadelphia making a change here. Horford's checked in. The Bucks also with the sub. Hill's checked in. He's off on the second. Bucks leading by four. Outside Matthews. to five on the shot clock. Milwaukee, no good that time either. The 76ers have gotten six of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. Simmons feeling it out a bit. Here's Horford. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Now look, you can't forget about Horford. I mean, especially from the mid-range area where he gets it done. To the middle. The shot's good from Lopez. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And here are the 76ers now. Four-point game. They need to bounce back from Wednesday's loss. Well, I, I felt like they were never on the same page defensively in that one. Gave up way too many easy shots. But Greg, they just appeared lost out there. I mean, it seemed like they were scrambling on the defensive end of the floor. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's on Brooke Lopez. A very concerted effort on Horford's part to bully his way inside and draw contact there. He needs to do more of that. Play inside. Get tough. The 76ers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Two shots. good on the free throw. 
Uh, I mean, what I appreciate about Horford is his unselfishness. I mean, he brings a veteran team first mindset to the table. Kyle O'Quinn is checked in for Philadelphia. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Robin Lopez is checked in for Lopez. Ilyasova comes in for Antetokounmpo. Brown is checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Pat Connington in for Wesley Matthews. And he sinks the second. And so it's Hill with it. He brings it up for Milwaukee. Three-point lead. Dishes it to Lopez. Four on the clock. Shoots. And it's Hill. That time the assist by Brown. And the Bucks lead by five. Now for his scoring ability, he is pretty selective, but he's always a threat. Pass to Korkmaz. Back to Simmons. Out to Harris. Takes the three. It's good. It's his second basket. He shoots a two for four. Now, we've seen an improvement in this aspect of Harris's game. I mean, his ability to stretch the floor with the shoot. Nice. This is it to Lopez. That shot missing. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Harris outside. Now the pass to Korkmaz. Now here's Simmons. Shoots the three. But they recover it. Lopez with the steal. Here's Connaughton. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Leosova finds Lopez. Such a wide open look. Oh, look. Lopez doesn't hesitate once he gets the ball. I like seeing him be aggressive on offense. Here is outside. on the shot clock. Here's O'Quinn. And that one goes long. Nice interior defense. Can't give him any space inside or he'll burn. Here's Connaughton. And a miss there on the triple. The 76ers trail by four. And Simmons kicks to Harris. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got his fourth assist in this one. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shoot. Here's Connaughton. Hope loose. And it's O'Quinn with the rebound. Oh, defense, they just took that possession off. I mean, they get away with it that time, but they've got to show some more aggression. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Now, here is Hill. Now, Elias Open. And on the screen now is the 2K leaderboard with a rundown of this postseason's assist leader. And Simmons is second. And it seems like he's taking it on his shoulders to get every one of his teammates involved in the offense here in the postseason. What a passing display. throw good from Ilyasova. Oh, look, and Ilyasova played the first seven seasons of his career with the Bucks. He bounced around since then, but he earns minutes wherever he goes. Jonah Bolden's checked in for Tobias Harris. And both free throws good for Ilyasova. Well, he's come through for them at the line today, and you love having a big fella who's so capable on his free throw. Here's Korkmaz, and the 76ers get it back. Simmons, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Hill. The 76ers shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. The 
first one falls. Scotty's checked in for Philadelphia. So he hits one of two from the strike. Yeah, a lot of whistles here early, as well as foul trouble starting to be an issue. Here's Connaughton. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Australia Silva. Brown outside. Hill versus the Lopez. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. No good from Connaughton. Just doing the job on the backboard. Here's Simmons. Rebounded by the Bucks. A chance at a two for one if they want it. If I'm them, I try it. Feeds to Hill. A shot's good. Brown making the play. Hill's got his second bucket tonight. I'm sorry. That's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Outside, Simmons. It's Korkmaz in the corner. A three-pointer, no good. This quarter has been hit or miss for him. Mostly miss. Connaughton passes to Brown. Misses that one. He's 0 for 1 from the floor. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. 76ers have shot 5 of 8 from the foul line. Shooting for Philadelphia. Mike Scott. Two shots. First free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. Just four seconds left to play here in the first. Tobias Harris, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Philadelphia 76ers. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. We'll return shortly. The game is evolving and Al Horford has changed his game along with it. It never occurred to me that I'd be shooting threes at this rate and doing some of the things that I'm doing, but um, it's just the way that the game has evolved. And give Horford credit. He adjusted with the times. He didn't stay set, Greg, in his ways. Yeah, he, he was always a great mid-range shooter, and he's proven to be a legitimate threat from deep. Welcome back to Playoff Basketball on 2K Sports. This is the Eastern Conference Final. What stands out to you guys from the 76ers in this one? Just stretching out the floor in that first. Uh, they had the defense scrambling. Just wearing them out. I mean, when you space the floor like this, the defense has to run and spend the energy. Horford is out there with Scott. Then there's Ben Simmons. And it's Bolden and it's a threesome. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Shot clock at three. For three. Hill. No good. Shot missing. Simmons with the defensive effort. Philadelphia's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Goes up with a stripe. The rebound by the Bucks. Eliasova's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Brown. And he converts the layup. Brown's got the opening field goal of the second quarter for Milwaukee. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Simmons finds Horford. There's Korkmaz. Back to Horford. I mean, given his massive size, it's easy to see why Horford picks up a lot of shooting fouls. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. At the one for two.
And the first one drops. Eric Bledsoe's checked in for Hill. And Al Horford drops them both. The Bucks trail. Once so, taking his time here. And he drops it in from the low post. bledsoe has got five points so far. Six changes of the lead here. Yeah, both teams still kind of feeling their way through this game. Scott kicks to Richardson. Horford with it. He has five. Pass to Thibault. Moves back up and out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Embiid, he's checked in for Al Horford. Giannis Antetokounmpo is checked in for Milwaukee. And it's Bledsoe with the ball for Milwaukee. Only given up two points this quarter. Joel Embiid with the rebound. Embiid's got his fourth rebound in this one. Feibel, no good that time. Great tee that time from Giannis. And so finds Giannis. Count it good. 13 points in the game. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Richardson against Bledsoe. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. For Philadelphia, they have been shooting right around 75% of the line, 9 of 12 so far. That's good from Richardson. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. Looking at who's out there now for the Bucks. Rick Lopez is checked in for Lopez. Chris Middleton comes in for Ilyasova. And it's Matthews in for Sterling Brown. Bucks have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Matthews dishes to Lopez. In the corner, Middleton with it. Shoots over Scott. Middleton can't get it to go. The 76ers trail. Richardson outside. Embiid, the pass to Richardson. Great D that time for Middleton. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Philadelphia with the ball, following the miss by Eric Bledsoe. Here's Bolden. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Five to shoot. From deep three-point range, Bible can't get it to go. And maybe he thinks he has that type of range, but I'm not sure who'd agree with him. Yeah, not everyone has Steph Curry shooting ability. I, I'd be surprised. I, I'd be hurt if he tries another one like that again. Good to see a player going all out when the game's this tight. You know, G.A., he knows what his job is. Patrol the offensive glass. Yeah, Kevin, second chance opportunity so big in this instance. Yeah, they have to feel fortunate that they can extend that play. And Philadelphia decides to take their first timeout right here. You look at Enetokounmpo really making a difference here. 
Oh, yeah, no question what they'll be talking about in this timeout. They need to figure out some way to slow him down. with the list of the top rebounders in this year's playoffs. Third is Giannis Antetokounmpo. Fourth, Joel Embiid. Those two have been really aggressive in the paint so far this postseason. They provided the kind of rebounding you need in this atmosphere. Passes it to Thibel. One zone with the rebound. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. And just tax a few more points onto their lead with the Tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. So it's Philadelphia now. After the basket by Milwaukee. Here's Thibel. And so it looks like the 76ers will retain possession here. The 76ers making a switch here. Harris has checked in. Tobias Harris. Here's Thibel, and the layup's good off the glass. Thibel's got his second basket of the night. Oh, man, he's doing a little of everything for this team. It needs floor awareness. Really impressive. Here's Bledsoe. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on MB. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. The Bucs have gone four of six so far from the line, missing a couple. The first one falls. Bledsoe hits them both. The 76ers trail by five. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Harris passes to Thibel. And the three off target. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot get his shots to drop. Shots good by Middleton. You can see the evolution of Giannis as a passer. He's gotten good at thinking for himself and his teammates. Now, here's Richardson. He has six. Harris inside. Defended by Middleton. Harris's shot is off. To the paint. Here's Yuck. And onto Takumbo. Slams it in. Oh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Here's Thibel. He's covered by Matthews. The pass to Embiid. They need this. That one misses. Good D by Lopez. Milwaukee leading by 10. There's the lob at Nakumbo. No good on that one. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Oh, I'm always surprised when it doesn't happen. I'm sure these two will have a good laugh about it later. Kyle O'Quinn is checked in for Philadelphia. And here's Richardson. Pass to Thibel. Back to Richardson. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Richardson's got four points in the quarter. 
Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Embiid against Lopez. Back to Bledsoe. Gets hauled in by the 76ers. Embiid's got his sixth rebound on the night. He'll breathe a big sigh of relief if they hang on to win this game. He's not done much to contribute tonight. Pass to Richardson. Harris against Middleton. Shot clock at six. Great D that time for Middleton. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for the Bucks. Shots good by Bledsoe. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Yeah, yeah. Horrible effort. It appears they may be on the brink of giving up. Here's Thibel after Eric Bledsoe's score. Thibel, the pass to Richardson. Now Embiid, guarded by Bledsoe. Shoots. Embiid, no good. Bucks leading by 10. Now here's Matthews. Here's Bledsoe. And it's O'Quinn with the rebound. Philadelphia's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Here's Feibel. Another shot, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Very difficult to deal with inside. I mean, once Embiid gets the positioning he wants, you almost have to foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. A free throw drops for MB. A good job they're doing at the line this quarter. They'll need to continue converting those free throws. Mark Miles, he's jacked in for Philadelphia. Simmons comes in for Richardson. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Hill, he's checked in for Wesley Matthews. And MB drops them both. And the Hakeem Olajuwon comparisons are just somewhat legitimate. I mean, Embiid's skill set and size is something you don't see very often. Now here's Bledsoe. Nine points in the game so far. Here's Asitakumbo. The dish to Lopez. Takes it down to Middleton. Bledsoe against Simmons. Trying to get open is Lopez. And it's blocked by Simmons. With the reach of Simmons. I mean, coming into play on these blocks, you got to be careful shooting around this guy. Passes to Harris. Let's it go from 14. And the jumper is good. Harris has got 12 points in the game. Hit works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. Right. It's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses. That doesn't cost the two pieces. Now here is Hill. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And with Hill's length and athleticism, you're almost surprised he doesn't get to the line more often. The Bucks have gone six of eight from the free throw line tonight. That free throw, no good. And guys, I love George Hill's game. He's a smart defender who can score the ball pass. He's, he's a winner. Al Horford is checked in for MB. And then for Milwaukee. Robin Lopez is checked in for Lopez. And it's Pat Connington in for Eric Bloodsoe. And the second free throw, good. The 76ers trail by seven. Here's Korkmaz. Harris outside. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. 
Down is high post. Working on Horford. Here's Lopez. Oh, and he plucks it off the glass. Wow. I mean, you can't be careless around Horford. Throw up a weak shot around him. He'll send it back. Here's Korkmaz. Off target from outside. Bucks leading by seven. Outside Hill. He feeds it to Lopez. Good work defensively by Horford. He's lucky his teammates have picked up the slack for him. I mean, his shooting has been horrific. Harris kicks to Korkmaz. Hill against Horford. Count that bucket. Horford's got four this quarter. And despite the hot start from beyond, they've gotten away from shooting the triple. Outside Hill. A minute 20 left in the first half of the game. From down low. And that's good. Time for two. Hill's got seven points in the game. George Hill is a live weapon coming off the pick and roll. He can pull up, pass, and then attack the rack. And it's Simmons penetrating. And Simmons slams it in. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. No, but this team, they love that kind of energy, fellas. I mean, dunks like this demonstrate leadership. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. The Bucs have made seven free throws and missed three in this game. And the Bucs making a change here. Elias Opus checked in. Fifty-one seconds left in the second quarter. Simmons against Hill. Harris looking it over. Rebound by Elias Hope. If his performance this quarter is any indication, I don't think he's the one who's going to let them out of the hole. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. Down low, Lopez. Lopez is just awesome in the pick and roll. Love how fast he rolls after setting that screen. Jack Simmons. Hill against Simmons. One second left. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And we finish one half of basketball. The Bucks on top. They're up by 10. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Mike Budenholzer. Your defense has been very good. Why has that happened? Well, you know, I think our guys are committed on that end. Uh, everybody's active. Everybody's covering for each other. And we know how important it is. Mike, we'll see if it continues in the next quarter. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, and we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, y'all. We're reporting to you live here in the sold-out arena. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. Well, for the Bucks, they followed up their win in game one with a solid performance here in the first half tonight. If they can hold on and win this game, they could go into game three with very little pressure on themselves. Shaq, let's get your take on Milwaukee. Ernie, do not take this the wrong way, but the freak got freaky as usual. Can rise above anyone, gets whatever shot he wants, plus he's a tremendous team leader, both through words and action. And Kenny, your take on Philadelphia. Their three-point shooters struggle to get into a rhythm. It's a mental thing. You start clanking them, and your teammates start. It's contagious. Now, percentage-wise, shooting in the low 30s, it's not horrific, but it's not great. And they have to improve their accuracy from deep in the second half, or they're going to have a hard time coming back. And now with the second half about to get underway, 
Let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. Glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. You look at Andy Dekumbo in this one. He's been everywhere. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Yeah, it could be one of those epic games, but we still have a long way to go. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. The 76ers trail by 10. And on the floor for Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. Matthews and Middleton, the two wings. Giannis is the four with Lopez, the five. And it's Bledsoe in at the one spot. Now here is Harris. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Giannis has got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Off on the way. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Here's the teardrop, and it goes down two points. That's now eight points for Ben Simmons. Oh, he's a tricky player. He's so difficult to guard. Simmons excels at going with the floater at the right time. Defends the shot and grabs the rebound. About as big an impact as you can have on a possession. Richardson the pass to Thibault. Outside, Simmons. Just five on the clock. Basket counts. Simmons got ten. Embracing the physicality of the game. Simmons, he's used to getting knocked around a bit on the way up, but he's okay. Here's Bledsoe, and it's blocked by Simmons. But this is not the start they wanted coming out of the break. 0 for 3 so far, and they're not playing with much intensity. And he gets the bucket. And that's 10 points for Josh Richardson. They're on target from the start of the half. I mean, they're moving well. They're getting some good shots. Now that makes them 3 for 4 from the field since halftime. The ball stolen. And they're running. Oh, the lob for Simmons. And Simmons sends it in. Demonstrating how fast he is. Simmons enjoys going up to hammer on the alley. He logs up the alley pass. No hesitation at all on the alley oop. Saw his teammate with a path to the hoop and bang, lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. From past the arc, that shot no good. The Bucks go the other way with it. They've led by as much as 10. Middleton up top, guarded by Harris. Middleton the pass to Lopez. And the dunk by Lopez. Like the show of ferocity from Lopez. Whenever he plays down there with fire, it's infectious. Here's the pass to Embiid. Here's Fiebel. Over Matthews. And again, it's Philadelphia. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Bloodso against Simmons. Here's Hansa Takubo. And again, it's Milwaukee converted. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. Well, and that's why they're running plays for him. They're getting him the ball and letting him go to work. And it's good. Two points. Bible's got eight points. Here is Bloodson. Nine points in the game so far. Let's be honest. Outside Matthews. Aston Middleton. Three-pointer. Rebound by the 76ers. Here's Bible. Eight points for him. And the foul on Eric Bledsoe. That's his third foul of the game. And the 76ers making a change here. Bolden's checked in. Sterling Brown is checked in for Milwaukee. Simmons on the wing. Guarded by Bledsoe. Another miss by Philadelphia. And so Giannis will bring it up for the Bucks. Four-point game. 
Middleton looking it over. Ponce to Kumbo, dishes to Bledsoe. A three ball. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And Beach got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Here's Bledsoe, and it's blocked by Simmons. Here's Fable. Here's Embiid. Good D by Giannis. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. Well, that's why he's out there right now. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. Now here's Middleton. Six points for him. Six to shoot. Here's Bledsoe. They get the rebound. And Hatatakumbo gets it to go. Giannis has got four points this quarter. Just creating havoc for the opponents the last few games. It's all clicking for him right now. I mean, they got to body him up. Here's Feibel. He's got eight. Richardson outside. Over Middleton. Richardson no luck. Solid rebound there, and with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. And that one's good by Giannis. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Simmons passes to Bolden. No good off the back of the rim. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. Yeah, that's not his spot. Plain and simple. He's trying to force something that's rarely a good idea. Now here's Simmons, following the miss by Eric Bledsoe. Terrific at penetrating inside. The mobility Simmons possesses at his size, amazing. Milwaukee leading by six. Bledsoe passes to Lopez. Back to Bledsoe. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Bledsoe's got 11 points. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Bledsoe against Simmons. Here's Embiid. He can't get it to go. Good D by Lopez. And up the court come the Bucks on the break. Giannis no good. For Philadelphia, they've gone 7 for 16 the second half from the field, shooting a bit under 50%. Simmons passes to Thibault. Back to Simmons. High, arcing shot, and the rebound goes to Lopez. Lopez has got rebound number 8 here tonight in the game. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And how about then not settling? I mean, instead of being lazy with the shot selection, they go right to the rim. MB the pass to Simmons. A rebound by the Bucks. Middleton's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's onto Takubo. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. He's made two of three from the stripe tonight, catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. Kyle O'Quinn is checked in for Joel Embiid. Horford comes in for Jonah Bolden. And Mike Scott subbed in for Richardson. Ilya Sova, he's checked in for the Bucks. Hill comes in for Eric Bledsoe. Throw no good for Giannis. The 76ers trail by 12. Here's Fable. Offline with his three. If he was shooting even a little bit better, the story of this game would be a lot different. Giannis inside. Simmons is there. And Hunter Takumbo gets it to go. Some players might wear down during this kind of run. He's only getting strong. Passes it to Thibe. Back to Simmons. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one on Hill. Well, look at the fearlessness. It comes into play when we talk about Simmons. He's a force inside. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game.
He misses the free throw. Lopez, he's checked in for the Bucks. Pat Connaughton comes in for Antetokounmpo. Good on the second free throw. And the Bucks with possession. They're on an 18-7 run. The feed to Lopez. The 11-footer. And again, it's Milwaukee converting. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. And there's the pass to Horford. Here's Theibel. Eight points for him. Let's a floater go, and the layup is good. Theibel's got six here in this quarter. Oh, such a feel shot there, the floater. Hill kicks to Connington. Over in the corner, Brown. Six on the shot clock. Hill against Simmons. Hill, no good. Are you expecting to make those? They've got to do more to get a hand in his face next time. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And Milwaukee gets called for the foul. Shooting for Philadelphia. At the line for two. First free throw is good. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. And so it's Hill with it. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Pocket six. Banked in off the glass. Hill's got nine. We love the determination of Hill. Took it right to the teeth of the D and then got it down. Pass to Thibel. Now Scott. O'Quinn, the pass to Fiber. He sinks the 11-footer. Fiber's got 10 points here in the second half. He's been dominant this quarter. I mean, he's determined to prevent the lead from getting any bigger. Defense! Defense! Lopez outside. Dishes it to Ilias Hope. And the foul on Mike Scott. That is his first foul of the game. Wesley Matthews checked in for Milwaukee. against Scott. Brown kicks to Hill. Six to shoot. To the paint. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. For Milwaukee, they have had 12 attempts at the line, making eight so far. Free throw, good. Matthews. Harris has checked in for the 76ers. Both free throws, good for Matthews. There's a minute 47 left here in the third quarter. Here's Simmons. Sweet little floater. Simmons got 11 here in this quarter alone. 
Lane to his strengths on the offensive end. Simmons, I mean, an added bonus whenever he catches fire. Brown the pass to Matthews. Back to Brown. Feeds to Ilias Over. The three. That shot, no good. And Philadelphia the other way now. Simmons passes to Horford and finished off by Horford. This is what a point guard should do. Simmons is so adept at noticing when the defense is overcommitted. Bucks leading by nine. Lopez outside. Horford with the rebound. Philadelphia's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Here's Scott. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Outside Hill. There's 25 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. High post Lopez. Get the shot. And Horford pulls it down. Horford's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Simmons passes to O'Quinn. Yes, that goes in. Now just a five-point Bucks lead. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. I'm deep. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. Oh, a versatile defender who can guard in any position. Simmons. He's using his speed and length to annoy shooters. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Milwaukee. His work on the glass was outstanding in that quarter. Great rebounding. Right back after this break. Head coach Mike Budenholzer is mic'd up along the sideline. Let's check it out. Do it again for this quarter, 0-0. Zero, zero. Same effort, same mentality. Keep pushing, keep moving the ball, keep cutting. So Mike likes how they're working the ball right now. And, and, you know, Coach highlighted it's a brand new quarter. They need to play with the same fire. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Harris at small four with Horford at the four. Then there's Kyle O'Quinn. Then it's Simmons, and it's Thibel in at the shooting guard position. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Here's Thibel after Eric Bledsoe's score, and it's sent back by Hill. Oh, the wingspan of Hill enables him to play a lot bigger than the 6'2 height. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. Oh, great. This is why they go to him in these spots. I mean, they trust his judgment and ability to score down the screen. Now, here is Hill. Bledsoe outside. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Now here is Harris. Following the miss by Eric Bledsoe. That's it, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down to just three in the basket from Tobias Harris. Uh, an aggressive move by Harris. A little contact here. He just powered through. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Here's Lopez. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And the Bucks lead by five. Well, Lopez is a strong big man. He excels at absorbing contact and then finishing over the defense. inside. He's covered by Matthews. Here's O'Quinn, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up.
that free throw missing. Chris Middleton's checked in for Hill. He's good on the second. That one miss was huge. He had a chance to turn this into a one-possession game. Here's Putso. Yeah, the defender all over. throw drops for Eric Bledsoe. Josh Richardson's checked in for Kyle O'Quinn. Bledsoe hits them both. So it's Philadelphia now. They trail by six. Pass to Richardson. Back to Simmons. Oh, that's blocked. I'd love to see more of this from Villasova. I mean, he has to reach to swat away shot. To the inside. Converts on the jumper for the easy two. And the Bucks lead by eight. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Here's Fiber. He's covered by Matthews. Takes it to Harris. Six on the shot clock. Here's Richardson. Here's Horford. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. throw drop for Al Horford. Milwaukee making a switch. Lopez is checked in. And so Horford gets two. the Bucks with possession here. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Bledsoe against Simmons. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's on Ben Simmons. The first one at the line is good. Yeah, good job bringing that free throw percentage up here in the second half. Doing a great job at the line. Antetokounmpo is checked in for Milwaukee. And Eric Bledsoe drops them both. And one difference this half is that when they get to the line, they're converting. 
Feibel, the pass to Horford. And here is Simmons. Back to Horford. Lopez with the block. And here's the pass break. Giannis leading the way. Ball's not loose. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Milwaukee with the ball. Nettles in fine, Giannis. Lopez outside. Off target with his three. They get away with it here, but that's not a shot you should ever be getting. Horford, the basket good off the assist from Simmons. And that's 15 points for Al Horford. Oh, he's capable of shouldering the offense. I mean, when Horford is feeling it, you got to keep feeding. Bloodsoe against Simmons. Shots good by Bloodsoe. Bloodsoe's got 10 points here in the second half. I mean, he's just been brilliant today, guys. And it was the same exact story last time out. Horford the pass to fight. From 13 feet, it goes down. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. Simmons against Bloodsoe. He kicks it to Lopez. On the wing. Here's Antetokounmpo. It's good. Giannis has got 36. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basket. Here's Feibel. He's covered by Matthews. Feibel can't get it to go. And here's Giannis. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They're leading by eight. Middleton against Richardson. Middleton right side. Giannis is double. Back to Middleton. Lenzo for three. And that one is off. Simmons with the defensive effort. Inside. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And guys, I like what they're doing here in the second half. Getting a lot of production in the paint and, and still trailing, but, but starting to show some grit down low. Timeout called by Milwaukee. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, I, I like the chess match that's going on here. Each team trying to find and, and exploit the favorable matchup on the floor. Catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alden. Hey, guys. Well, Mike Budenholzer had some advice for the team during the timeout. He said, this is where mistakes can kill us. This is where mistakes can turn this thing completely around. Protect the basketball and make the simple play. In other words, guys, no hero ball right now. And this helps build chemistry. Lopez looking to share the ball wherever he can. Here's Feibel. On the wing, Harris. Under the Kumbo defending. 
and the rejection by Adetokounmpo. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Adetokounmpo. Two on the clock. Here's Horford. And it's great seeing Lopez make an effort on defense. I'm showing real determination. And so finds Giannis. And Giannis throws it down. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty <laughs> on that dunk? A nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Here's Fiber. He's covered by Matthews. So against Simmons. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. He's off on the first. And he's taking care of the hard part tonight, which is getting to the line. But, but he hasn't finished the job once he gets there. He hits the second from the line. Bucks leading by eight. side out of the Kumbo a shot by Middleton wide open and a great assist by out the Kumbo as that one goes in on the Kumbo's got three assists in the game now here's Horford here's Simmons and foul on the shot he'll shoot two at the free throw line down the first one. And the 76ers making a change here. Embiid's checked in. And Simmons drops them both. And it's Bledsoe with the ball for the Milwaukee Bucks. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And it's blocked by Simmons. Pass to Thibel. Back to Simmons. Shot clock at six. He dishes it to Embiid. The rebound by the Bucks. Giannis has got his 18th rebound here tonight, all over the place. Now Middleton. What's with it? It's up a three. Second chance shot. And it's out of the Kumbo with the bucket inside. On to the Kumbo's got 42 in the game. And the rebound and the follow show you what he is all about. Gritty and determined with the soft touch to match. Now here's MB. It's so about it's a Kumbo. And here we go. The fast break with the ice. And onto the Kumbo slams it in. Every team looking to get easy ones in transition. You know, Greg, that's about as high percentage a look as you're going to get running the floor beautifully. Here's Simmons. And the pass to Richardson. Eyes again. Here's Embiid. And they will get the basket here, folks, as they rule goaltender. 
just barely too late and, and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed, so can't fault him for going for the block. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Outside Matthews. Back to Giannis. To the middle. And Embiid with the block. Awesome timing on the rejection. Embiid, the big fella. You don't want to bring it in around this guy. The feed now to Lopez. Pass to Giannis. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Philadelphia with the ball. 11-point game. Simmons passes to Thibault. Shoots from the line. It's hauled in by Giannis. Honda DeCumbo's got his 20th rebound here tonight. Saw that coming. And it's blocked by Simmons. And it's out of bounds to the Bucks as Milwaukee retains possession. Off the inbound pass, and out of the Kumbo lays it up and in. On to the Kumbo's got 46 points. The 76ers trail by 13. Stolen by Bledsoe. He blocks it again. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Philadelphia on D. Giannis is double. Wants to get it to Matthews and does. Can't hit from in close. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. And good that time. Simmons got 16 here in the second half. This is where Simmons likes to shoot from. The closer he is to the rim, the better. And so onto the Kubo looking over it. Matthews trying to free himself up. On to Takumbo with the bucket. Giannis has got 48. And, and when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, and the top man is going for the juggle. And they double up Simmons. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. the 76ers with the ball. Passes it to Thibault. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. That's just a product of good pass work. I mean, nice team basketball. Bucks leading by 11. Giannis outside. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got four rebounds in this game. Bledsoe against Simmons. Kicks it out to Richardson. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Milwaukee's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. And, and that's just about going to wrap it up for game number two. Lots of exciting moments out there. Big time NBA play, and in the end, victory for the Bucks. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck getting hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Giannis Antetokounmpo. He was the one dictating the pace tonight, playing up-tempo or slowing it down, but always scoring. Embiid, no good. On offense here, the Bucks. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Giannis inside. Middleton for three. That shot misses. Simmons against Lopez. Simmons passes to Embiid. The turnaround. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. 
And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in the series. Up now, Greg, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Eric Bledsoe. Eric, a strong performance tonight. What's been the difference? Uh, we're getting out of transition, you know, trying to get defense to stop. And everybody's just playing their game. And it showed tonight, Eric. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. For Chris Weber, Craig Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for being with us. See you later.